Hey guys, welcome back to Suburban Ranch. Today we're going to continue work on our 1990 GMC K1500. And we're working on the front suspension. Specifically, we're going to be removing the sway bar end links. So here we are in the wheel well of the truck. And this is the sway bar end link that we're going to be removing today. And there's a lot of reasons that you may want to remove this. Uh, perhaps you're trying to remove your CV axle and you just need to get a little bit more space to, to get that CV axle out of the hub. Or maybe you're just removing it to replace it. And that's the case here on, on my truck. Uh, so you can see the rubber is, is pretty cracked. And these are just really getting pretty old. I think they're original to the truck and they're, they're due for a replacement. So the first problem you'll notice uh, when you try to remove these sway bar end links is that where the sway bar comes through the bottom of the control arm, there's a hole, but the sway bar end link is coming through at an angle such that you can't get a socket on it. Uh, so what we have to do first is come back up on top and actually loosen up the mounts of the sway bar so that we can change the angle of that sway bar end link. And then hopefully we should be able to get a socket on that nut. Here's the sway bar and these are the mounts that hold it in place. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket and we'll go ahead and remove the two bolts here that hold it in place. All right, so there we go. We've got both nuts out on this side and so we'll do the same thing on the other side. So next step, now that we have the bolts out, uh, we can actually pry these bushings off as well. So there we go. Uh, there's just a split in the front of the bushing that allows you to pry it off of the sway bar. If you are putting this back together, I would recommend getting some, some new bushings before you put it all back together. Here we are back under the truck and you can see I was able to get a deep well 13 millimeter socket onto the nut on that sway bar end link. Um, with those sway bar mounts disconnected, there's just enough room to pull that sway bar towards the front right of the truck and gain access to that nut with a socket. With our socket on the bottom and a wrench holding the bolt on top, we'll go ahead and loosen up the end link. There we have the bottom nut. With the nut removed, if you're really lucky, you should be able to pull this inner bolt all the way out. So there's a grommet on the bottom of the control arm, this grommet on the top, and then you have one on each side of the sway bar as well, and then there's a spacer in between. Um, so this bolt, I'm gonna push from the bottom here. Got part of it out. So there's one of those rubber pieces. One washer, spacer, another washer, the other rubber grommet, and then you can see those cracks in there really well. And then the bolt. So we're really pretty lucky that this wasn't too rusted. This is a Southern truck. Um, so really it looks pretty, pretty decent. There's a little bit of wear down here in the bolt. It's starting to get eaten away a little bit. Um, but we'll, we'll be replacing the entire sway bar end link. These are not very expensive. Uh, so we'll replace the entire assembly. So it'll come with a new bolt, spacer, rubber, rubber grommets and washers as well. So we really did get pretty lucky removing these sway bar end links. Uh, I was fully suspecting to have to cut these off in this video. Um, so if that spacer would have been completely frozen on the bolt, like I suspected it was going to be, what I was planning on doing was taking a sawzall and making a cut just above the spacer on the top and then just below the spacer on the bottom and then just removing the bolt in two halves that way. Uh, but, you know, we lucked out. Some jobs are a little bit easier than you think they are when you're going into them. 
Um, if you did enjoy this content, please do subscribe. We've got a lot more videos coming on the front end rebuilds of this truck. Dude, check it out. I've got two shake weights. <laughs>